Hi everybody, I'm Nikita Bhutani and today I'll talk about SAMPO, an unsupervised knowledge-based construction method for opinions and implications. This is a joint work with my colleagues at Megon Labs, including Aaron, Chen, Shaolan, Behzad, and Wang Chu. Knowledge bases are everywhere today. A majority of these are built from texts such as on Wikipedia and contain information about real-world entities and their relationships. But there is still tons of information available today in user-written data such as reviews, which is not captured by these existing knowledge bases. And one of the main reasons for that is this information in reviews is typically expressed using opinions and not entities. And also the most frequent relationship between opinions is implication. In this work, we have developed a tool called Sample to build opinion-based knowledge bases from reviews. So what do opinions and implications look like? Opinion is a tuple with a modifier and an aspect. An aspect is the target of an opinion, such as action, characters, writing in movie reviews. A modifier is essentially a phrase that further describes this aspect. This could be fast-paced for action or pretty good for writing. The relationship between opinions is implication. For instance, complex characters could imply pretty good writing. Note that this relationship may not always be expressed explicitly in the same review. And such implication relationships actually have many applications in uh, question answering and retrieval. For example, uh, it could be used to answer a question, show me a movie with good writing, using just the first review, which only talks about complex characters in the movie. There are two limitations of existing knowledge-based construction methods for building such opinion-based knowledge bases. Firstly, they are extractive and not effective at capturing the implication relationship. And secondly, most of them are based on supervised or semi-supervised learning that requires training data for each new domain of reviews. To address these limitations, we have built SAMPO, which is a domain-independent, unsupervised knowledge-based construction method. And this is how SAMPO works. Given a corpus of reviews, it first uses rule-based opinion extractor to find opinion tuples, which are then normalized uh, to reduce any surface form variations. Since opinions and implications often do not co-occur in the same review, Sample relies on a matrix factorization technique to summarize signals across multiple reviews. Specifically, it builds a matrix where each row is the item being reviewed and each column refers to the opinion that is extracted from the review corpus. Each cell then indicates the number of times an opinion is extracted from, uh, is expressed in the reviews of an item. Sample factorizes this matrix and learns embeddings for opinions and items. It then infers the implications between the opinions based on the cosine similarity of their embeddings. The top key implications are then included in the knowledge base. There are many more technical aspects to sample that we are omitting here in the interest of time. This includes techniques to improve the robustness of the results or interpreting the direction of implications. And we invite you to take a look at the paper to read these, find these technical details. We applied sample to over 20 domains and closely examined the quality of six of the knowledge bases we constructed. We compared against three baseline systems, uh, PMI, which essentially captures co-occurrences of uh, opinions. The second baseline was universal schema, which also uses the matrix factorization method. And lastly, BERT, which is a strong linguistic baseline for our system. We use mean average precision of the top five implications as the metric and we found that sample consistently outperformed the baselines on five domains except for restaurants. Sample also achieved highest area under the precision recall curve on all domains except for restaurants, and we found that our KB can indeed, in fact, be used as uh, training data for uh, supervised language model-based methods. We found that it improved the accuracy with a max accuracy of 80%. Um, this indicates that 20% of the implications that are mined by sample cannot actually be discovered by the language uh, model-based methods. All our tools, scripts, and knowledge bases are publicly available. We encourage you to all, uh, give it a try. That's all we have. Thank you for listening.